Alright, it's gonna be a quick video of us putting together a Nipo, Napo 14 inch bicycle that we got from Walmart. And uh, this is for Will, and he's gonna help us put it together after he sees what's going on outside. So we'll do an unboxing first. Alright, so first thing is to install the training wheels. So it looks like we're just going to unscrew the axles basically and then put the training wheel on and then screw it back together. And it looks like the only important thing is to keep this order correct. So we'll remove this nut. This bar is a training wheel and just screw it back together. So we got the training wheels on. Step two is to install the fender, the front fender. So it says the short one is the front fender. So we're going to do this. Basically all we're going to do is go to the front right there, take off this nut and the washer, put the fender on, and then put the nut and the washer back on. That's all it uh, tells us to do right here. So we'll do that next. We got the front fender on. We just got this loosely because I think we might have to adjust the brakes later after we put the wheel on. So this is just snugged up. That's good. Next, we're going to install the front wheel. And, um, Daddy? yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, so yeah. I think we just have to take this off here. We'll loosen the nuts on here, fit it in the forks, and tighten it up. So we'll do that next. All right, so I've got the front tire on. Um, to, get the, to get it to pass the brake caliper, I had to squeeze the tire like that. I think it can make it pretty skinny. So if you squeeze the tire, it'll go past the brake. And then once you get it down the axle, we just loosen these up almost to the end. And, whoops. You can take them all the way off if you want, but the important thing is, hold on, Will. Okay. Yeah, but not yet, because the hook fell out. The important thing is that this hook, it's inside of this hook. And that goes inside that hole, and then you can start snugging those back up. Same thing on this side, it just sits right inside of this hook plate. Make sure the hook goes in that hole, and you can tighten it up on both sides. All right, so next we're going to do the handlebars. And so there's a screw at the top of the handlebars we need to loosen, and then just slides in the hole there. So there's, there's a little cap here we pulled off, it's a little plastic cap. Now I need to loosen the screw on the top of the handlebars, which is right here. Loosen that, and then this should slide in. And once we get the right height, we tighten it back up. I, I We're gonna maybe use a little Allen wrench, which is over there. Okay, so the tool they gave us doesn't really fit in here, right? So. Once I'm done, I'm gonna get my own set of Allen wrenches and find the one that fits and make sure I tighten this up good. Right now it's just snug, this tool barely goes in there. But next we're gonna do pedals. Um, so just need to make sure we get the left on the left and the right on the right and screw them in it looks like. So we'll do that next. The okay, pedals went on pretty good. Just the only thing is the right side, you turn clockwise to tighten. But the left side, you turn counterclockwise to tighten it. Um, so it's reverse thread on the left side. But besides that, pretty easy. Just make sure you uh, grab onto this to, uh, to tighten it on. All right, next we're going to install the seat. And so it just has this quick release here. You pull a little lever out, slide it in, and then close the lever. Again, pretty easy there, but um, when I undid this, I had to screw this pretty tight clockwise, get that snug for this clamp to work. So you might have to adjust the clamp like I did, but now it's nice and snug. So make sure the seat is aligned correctly, straight, and it's where you want it. Okay, next we're going to put the rear fender on. So it should just be, yeah, just loosening this bolt here, putting the fender on, and then tightening it back up. All 
And I just realized I have my wheel backwards. So the fender should be pointing backwards and the brake should be in the front. That's what I thought, but let's see if I can spin it around easily by loosening the handlebars. Okay, last thing is to adjust the brakes. So you need to make sure that these things on the side are on the actual rim, not the tire. Uh, So, make sure that's on the rim there. Same thing on this side. Can you see that? Right now it's vertical. There should be this little plastic piece should be horizontal. So it's grabbing the rim, not the tire. Tighten that down so it doesn't spin. Okay. Then seems pretty good the adjustment, so I don't really have to adjust anything else. Just gonna make sure everything here is tight. So that was really the only thing I had to do was turn these things. So just make sure these are adjusted so that they're again grabbing the metal wheel, not the tire. So I did also. I tightened this back nut with the wrench, and then I came and tightened these two. You, you tighten the... Oh, there's two nuts here. You have to tighten this one first behind it. And once that's tight, then you tighten this one in front of it. It's double nutted. And make sure it doesn't come loose. So make sure that's there. And then again, yeah, make sure your brakes are riding on the rim. So when I pull the pedal, or the brake lever, make sure it's biting down where it should be. Yep, it's yours. It's done now. And now I'm just gonna, again, get the correct Allen wrench and tighten the top here if it's still loose. Hey, and then I'll be done. All right, so this is a six millimeter Allen why wrench. Why am I this doing this? And that's what fits in there. Why, and why am I this doing this? Try to pedal, pedal for it. Does it work? No, see? So put the reflector on with a screwdriver. And um, okay, I can't put the bell on too, and then I'll be ready. Oh, and it comes with an air pump. I'm gonna pump the air, the tires. Got it? No. Pedal. <laughs>